The managing director of GEMCAL Corporation, Richard Hawes, uses the word epidemic to describe the recent retail thefts taking place at his luxurious boutiques located in Tuman. We've had three thefts within the last month in the plaza in three of our boutiques. We have cameras, we have vigilant sales associates, and it's kind of a worry that this is happening and this has never really happened before to this extent. As yesterday, he reported a third theft at the outlet store. This time, it was a family of four. We have an outlet at uh, the plaza as well, and same um, uh, local resident, uh, family of four, you know, two adults, two teenage uh, sons, and they were in the store. Uh, they engaged with the sales associate, they walked around, and they took merchandise and, and they left. And so now we've had uh, Mark Jacobs was June the 7th, June the 30th was the sports sack, our outlet store was July 2nd. It's hundreds of dollars worth of merchandise being stolen. However, it's not the amount that is of concern, says Haas. It's the fact that it's going on. It's the fact that uh, people are coming in with a view to steal mm -hmm. and not they're actually staying in the store, they're walking around the store, they're moving the bag, hiding it in a location, and then picking it up and even engaging with the sales associate as they walk out. It's really gutsy and ballsy and kind of a worry for us. Gemkel Corporation has captured the thieves on film through their high-resolution surveillance cameras. And the general manager has reported each of these cases to the Guam Police Department. I've gone to uh, GPD, I mean the Tumon Precinct, I mean for every single case, we filed a report. Uh, as far as arrest, none that I know of. I mean the first one that was Mark Jacobs on June 6th, uh, actually we had the lead from a local resident. I spoke to the person as well, I gave the information of the person to GPD. Now what happened at GPD, they said they had to give the case to the detective unit so that's that's what we know so far. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Adriana Cotero.